Hello everyone, my name is Jiang Shengli from Tsinghua University. My presentation title is Topic Enhanced Knowledge Aware Retrieval Model for Diverse Relevance Estimation. Here is the workflow of web search. When a user submits a query to a retrieval system, the system needs to rec retrieve some relevance document to the user. However, here is the problem. How can we measure relevance? According to a previous study, relation behind relevance should involve different dimensions, such as semantic similarity, topical relatedness, usefulness, and so on. However, when we look back to most existing neural retrieval models, we can find that most of them only consider semantic matching signal between query and the document, and do not take other possible relevance dimension into consideration. Let's take an example to show the necessity of using different relevance dimensions. For the query Huawei, we can find that when users have different information needs, the relevance terms are different. Knowledge relevance is easier to understand. The relations of relevance terms is usually determined by an external knowledge graph. The difference between semantic similarity and topical relatedness is the type of contextual information they use. We should look back to the model measuring terms. For example, for topic information, we usually use topic models to measure them, and topic models use documents as context, while work to vector use words within a certain window size as context. So the difference of context makes them capture different type of semantic similarity. The document-based model like uh, LDA captures semantic relatedness such as uh, the relation between boat and water, while the word-based model uh, like word-to-vector capture semantic similarity, like the relation between boat and ship. Given the different dimensions of relevance, we can find that most existing neural retrieval models only consider semantic similarity, and some knowledge-based retrieval models also consider knowledge relevance by using an external knowledge graph. So, in our work, we attempt to incorporate topical relatedness and try to combine it with semantic similarity and knowledge relevance to better estimate relevance. Therefore, we attempt to use topic model to measure the topical relatedness. Topic information retrieval can be considered as a search domain with a specific intent. In particular, we build topic embedding for the query instead of the document. The main idea is to augment the topic representation power of query and use the generated topic embedding to match the topical relevance information in the document. Since we aim to uh, improve the neural retrieval model with topic information, we use neural topic model to generate uh, the topic representations. The main, the main idea follows the previous word about topic models, where a document is assumed to be consists of multiple uh, topics. The key question of topic modeling is how to discover the topic distribution over each document and a word distribution over each topic. When it extends to neural retrieval model, the idea is similar. The network first estimates the mean and variance of a logistic normal distributions and then learn the topic embeddings through multiple neural networks. Finally, we hope to regenerate the input test according to the calculated topic embeddings. The whole frameworks have two learning targets. The first term aims to match the variational posteriors over the latent variables to the prior distributions, while the second term ensures that the variational posteriors favors value of latent variables that are good at explaining the data. We further extend this word by using embedding to re represent each topic, which helps to calculate the topic relatedness with each topic. The topic embeddings are used to reconstruct the, the input test and measure the topic relatedness in the following matching framework. The workflow of our framework is on this picture which contains two components, a neural topic model that learns topic information from the query and generates weighted 
topic embedding for the further matching. And the second is a topic enhanced matching framework that combines semantic similarity, uh, knowledge relevance, and topical relatedness for learning to rank. Semantic similarity is captured by word to word matching, and knowledge relevance is captured by the entity interactions. Topic embeddings are explored to match word embedding and entity embeddings. Those interaction matches are used together to estimate the final relevance. The learning targets contains two parts. First is the ranking loss function, which is the pairwise learning loss. And the second one is the learning function for the neural topping models. We use topping model to match with both word and entity embedding. We take word embedding to explain it better. The learning of word embedding is guided by two matching signals, semantic similarity and topic relatedness. For the traditional word level semantic learning process, a kernel moves to two words embedding such as their similarity is closer or away to the kernel mean. However, the matching of word embedding can only capture semantic similarity. In our framework, word embedding are also interacted with topic uh, embeddings and updates uh, by their similarity with the specific topic embeddings. So the topic embedding can be regarded as a cluster center in the word embedding space. And the learning process makes the words embedding clusters to a specific topic in terms of their similarity to the to a spe to a specific topic embeddings. We conduct our experiments on a search log samples from a popular search engine in China. And for the chaining, since we have a lot of chaining data, so we change with pseudo relevance label from click models. And we evaluate with both pseudo relevance labels and human annotated labels. For the knowledge graph, we use XLOE, which is the large scale uh, Chinese English uh, knowledge graph. And the entity is extracted by the uh, com commonest uh, base entity linker. For the baseline, since our model uses additional topic information, we also use a simple method to construct the baseline uh, with topic modeling, which is a linear function to combine the LDA based reachable model and other reachable models. And the uh, lambda here is a hyperparameter tuned on the validations. Finally, we have the following four types of baseline. The first one only consider topic information. The second ones are traditional retrieval model only consider uh, semantic similarity. The third one are knowledge-based retrieval model, which consider both semantic similarity and knowledge relevance. The last one is to model semantic similarity, uh, knowledge relevance, and topical relatedness, which are linear combinations of KESM, EIM. And the last bold one, TEKM, is our proposed model. We first have overall ranking performance on click labels. From this table, we can first find that topic based retrieval models, which only use topic information. Its performance is not very good compared to other retrieval models. This shows that it is not very effective to use only topic information in retrieval tasks. And if we incorporate more relevance dimension, for example, if we use semantic similarity and knowledge relevance together, we can first we can find that this group of performance can improve a lot compared to semantic uh, based retrieval models. And for the combination of three relevance dimensions, we can find that the simple linear combinations of the masses uh, cannot. Uh, outperform significantly compared to their original models. Uh, this shows us we need a, a better way to combine different relevance dimensions. And our proposed, our proposed model, we can uh, outperform other baselines in two click labels. This shows that the effectiveness of, of our retrieval models. We also have the ranking performance on human annotated labels. We can find that uh, the trace 
uh, of cumin annotated labels are very similar to the click labels and uh, the simplest combinations of uh, of three relevance dimensions do not have significant difference compared to their original uh, retrieval models and uh, our uh, proposed, mo proposed models can outperform a lot compared to all of the baseline and in our work we input we input both query words and entities into neural topping models so we control different inputs to neural topping models the first one is uh, directly removing the neural topping models uh, component and the second and the third one are using the query words and entity uh, individually we, we can find that um, our model without topics cannot perform very well and uh, using and uh, using words to generate a topic is more effective than the entities and uh, the combination of word and, and, and entities can outperform a lot compared to others uh, other methods on three relevance labels and we also have a study on the impacts of topic number we can find a uh, smaller topic model is not so uh, effective and when the topic number is larger than 128 and the performance difference uh, do not have do not change too much and we also study the ranking performance on different query scenarios so we split the query uh, according to the query lens and query frequencies and uh, the the compared model is the EDRM, which only used uh, semantic similarity and knowledge relevance. From the uh, performance on query lens, we can find that shorter query can perform better compared to EDRM because uh, short, uh, short queries uh, are usually ambiguous and vague. So uh, if we use additional topic information, it can help to uh, uh, better estimate use users' information needs and achieve better uh, uh, ranking performance. For the uh, query frequencies, we can find that a query with higher and medium frequencies can, can perform better compared to EDRM. Uh, this is because uh, topic models can uh, achieve better performance when uh, when the term frequencies is not very low because if we use uh, sparse uh, tests the performance of topic model cannot perform well so if we use a low quality of topic information it will, uh, it will hurt the ranking performance of our models since we use additional topic information we can also study the impact of topic quality and topic coherence is a metric to measure the topic quality and we have the following results we split the query according to their assigned topic with maximal probability so from this figure the blue line is the topic coherence of each topic and uh, the red line is the, uh, the query performance of NDCG 10 and uh, we, we can find that the ranking performance is generally positively correlated with topic coherence. This shows that topic quality uh, will infect the ranking performance in our model. And uh, for those topics with lower uh, quality, it cannot help our model to uh, retrieve better documents. We also have a case study compared with EDRM. The improved case and bad case have the following observations. For the improved case, we find the ranking performance improve when the search intent of the query is vague and broad. At this time, using topic information is useful for the retrieval task. For the bad cases, we find some query with wrong clustering or lower topic quality cannot perform well in our framework. At the same time, when a query has clear search intents, the topical relatedness does not help to improve the ranking performance. 
So in summary, our framework relies heavily on the topic quality. If we don't have a good topic quality, this relevance dimension cannot help the retrieval task. And that's all of my presentation. Thank you all.